Now that our Zoll X series is assembled correctly, the next step is to configure it properly. Work with your local sales rep to develop a configuration file that's consistent with the protocols that you operate under. Those configurations can be copied to a USB stick and duplicated on all the monitors within your department. In order to do that, we want to turn the device on, take your USB stick and plug it into the USB port on the right hand side of the device. What we're going to look for is in this section right here between the communications antenna and the time indicator, we're going to see a USB icon pop up. That tells us that the X-Series is recognizing a USB stick is inserted into the device, and that's going to allow you to copy the settings onto this unit. In order to do that, we're going to hit the left-hand arrow that loops back. We're going to select the little cog wheels, which will allow you to go into the settings. And we want to select supervisor. You can use the row buttons up the left-hand side to jump down to the numerical values. Your default password is 1234, and you're going to hit Save. And then go down to where it says Display slash Configuration. And in this case, we're going to import the configurations from our USB stick. So we want to go to Import Configuration, highlight that, and then hit Enter. The X-Series is going to ask you to make sure that you want to overwrite the current settings. In this case, yes, we do. And then that process will begin. This should only take a couple seconds. Once that process is completed, select OK, and the device will start over. When you're doing the import of configurations, you want to make sure you're importing from a compatible software version as well. That's very important. The unit will start back up, self-test passed. And now we can do some additional tweaking of the configurations. So if we go back into the supervisor setting, one, two, three, four, and hit save, we can go to back to display configuration like we were in before, and then device info. And that's going to allow us to label this unit based on the vehicle number or identifier that it's going to be assigned to. Your department name can be changed and also the unit ID can be changed. That's important for identifying the information that comes out of the unit when you transfer it to an electronic patient care reporting system or Zoll case review. You can then hit the home button, scroll down to where SPO2 is, go down to PI monitoring or the perfusion indicator monitoring section of this uh, setting, and you wanna make sure that is turned on. Then hit the home button. And the last thing we want to look at is the time. So to make sure the time is correct, based on where you're at in the country and whether or not you observe daylight savings time is going to dictate what this looks like. So the first section you see right now currently, it says disable DST. That's how the monitor should be reading between the spring when the time moves forward an hour in the fall, when the time moves backward an hour. In the fall, you would want to go in here and you would hit the button labeled Disable DST. And that would put the hour back automatically. In the spring, you would go back in and hit Enable DST. And that will jump up forward an hour as well. You then want to go down to where it says Set Date and Time. Hit that, date and time has been set. Hit the home button, and your device is ready to be used.